the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. What a wonderful One, two, three, four, I declare a hand war. One, two, three, four, I declare a hand war. One, two, three, four, I declare a hand war. Hey Trojans, happy Thursday! The 5K Glow Run is tomorrow, so get pumped because there are prizes for the fastest female and male teacher. And the annual Parada Del Sol is this Saturday. Come out and support our IMS students as they walk the parade route. 8th graders, our biggest fundraiser for the year is selling concessions at the Hopi Variety Show, which is coming up in February. The money raised will help offset the cost of food, DJ, and games. We're having a donation drive for variety packs of chips and variety packs of full-size candy bars to sell at the show. There will be a labeled tub in the office where students can bring in candy and chips. Don't forget the Falling Spirit Days. Valentine's Colors is February 14th, USA Pride Day is February 21st, and Disney Day is March 5th. Make sure to dress up and support your school. Now to a live report with Peyton. Hey guys, it's Peyton. On Netflix, To All the Boys I've Loved Before 2, or P.S. I Still Love You, is officially coming out on February 12th. To All the Boys I've Loved Before is a movie about a girl named Laura Jean who writes love letters to all the boys she's loved. Her younger sister published them, and her whole world turned around. She started dating Peter Kavinsky to try and make the other guys think that she doesn't like them, but suddenly begins to fall in love with him. I don't really blame her because uh, Peter Kavinsky is uh, pretty cute. <laughs> the sequel go <laughs> will go more into their relationship and possible new love interests. Now back to your anchors. Bingo side, I'm Cole, and today I'm going to be showing you some do's and don'ts for technology. Don't be gaming. Do be working. That's what you get. Don't you and your phone in the hole. You may have heard about Shakira and Jennifer Lopez's performance in the recent Super Bowl. Even though you may have enjoyed the performance, many parents and Super Bowl fans were outraged in their outfits and attitudes. An angry Twitter user TurtlePower98 said, Not appropriate for kids at a Super Bowl halftime show, just JLo's outfits in general. Besides this, a lot of people were happy with the performance and supported the two when they got a flag. Let's get some sports news with Lucas. Final. Hey Ingleside, uh, today at 4 p.m. girls basketball is playing at Ingleside and in the courtyard after school from 2.20 to 2.45 p.m. the cheerleaders are selling Otter Pops at for two for one dollar in the courtyard. There's also a flag football home game against Mojave at 4 p.m. Now back to your anchor. No, no. Thanks for that Lucas. Bye, Bye Ingleside. This is for eighth graders, this message is, um, we still have a few more spots on our 2020 DC Philadelphia trip. So um, we are inviting you to sign up and come with us, it's so much fun. Um, we do ask that you please sign up before March 1st. 
you should have gotten a link from your social studies teachers in an email or your parents should have. And you can follow that link or you can come to the art room and see me for one of these packets and sign up for the trip. Okay, time's ticking so and spots are going fast. So please join us, it'll be super fun.